My name is Afet, and I'm a strawberry farmer in Irevalo village in Azerbaijan. I'm 37 years old and I'm married with two children. Every morning after I have made breakfast and done some cleaning, I look after my animals. We have chickens and the three cows. First I feed the cows. This takes time because I have to mix the dried food with water. Next I clean out the cow enclosure. I collect the manure to burn and we use it as a natural fertilizer on the strawberry field. Every morning I mix the cow which takes about 15 minutes. We use the milk for making cheese and yogurt as it is cheaper than in the shop. Milk costs about 50 kopek per kilo here. A cow is expensive about $1,500 but it lasts 12 years so it is economical. My next job is to feed the chickens. I would really like a chicken shed because at the moment they have to live in the basement. I feed them maize twice a day. We have a lot of chickens but they are cheap to keep and we can eat them in the winter. Three or four times a week I make bread. It costs about 30 kopek per loaf to buy in the shop but only 10 to make at home. I must knead the bread for about 10 minutes. It is hot work. I heard from women in the village that there is a machine for making dough, but nobody I know has ever seen one. I make four or five loaves each time. I cover the dough to keep it warm. Next I make the fire for the stove. It takes about half an hour or 45 minutes. Women and the men collect the wood for the stove. Usually the men will chop the bushes and the women will gather and bring back to the stove. In the village every three families will have a natural stove called a tender which they share. We have an electric oven so sometimes if the weather is too hot we can use that one but we don't like it. To cook in the electric oven, we have to add yeast and it means that the bread spoils quickly. Tenders are different sizes, but ours can cook up to 12 breads. Sometimes I will cook five and my neighbor will cook five to save time. The bread takes about 15 minutes to cook. It is so hot by the tender. I prefer to cook the bread the traditional way. It is cheaper and also it is much quicker. In one hour I can make 10 loaves. In an electric oven it will take half an hour for one loaf and this bread is much tastier. After the bread is done I go to the field. It is a 20 minute walk each way. I go to the field twice in the morning and afternoon. I would like the road to be flat and clean with asphalt. Maybe we could talk to the municipality, but I don't think they would do it for us. I usually arrive at the field between 8 and 10 a.m., depending on the heat. The land is owned by several women in our producer organization, and we work together. We spend a lot of time weeding. Weeding is very important because they can damage our crop. Weeding and harvesting is long and tiring work. It is a woman's work, the so men don't help much. Women do all the work in the strawberry field. Usually there are four or five women at the nursery. Today there are only two because one woman's child is in hospital, another is preparing a wedding. The women here understand if someone cannot come to the field, I would like to employ women in the strawberry fields. After I have worked at the field for two or three hours, then I walk back to our home. It is a very hot walk at this time of day. Back at the house, I make tea and lunch for my family. Sometimes, to save time, I make a big lunch and we will eat for our evening meal too. My daughter might help with some of the preparation, but not usually the cooking. Also, I am teaching her how. When I am sick, she can cook. 
My husband doesn't know how to cook. He would die because he was hungry but would never cook. We sit down together to eat. But once we have finished, then it is back to work. I will be working and resting at home for one or two hours before I go back to the field. I wait until fall when then shadow is always a thing and is then spent about half an hour washing the dishes. At the moment there is no water piped inside the house. Maybe in the autumn, if we have the money, we will install it. One year ago we didn't even have water piped to the yard. We had to walk to the artisan well about 500 meters away. We took the dishes to the well and I carried water back to the house. All the women were queuing to use the well, so it took a long time. I have switched on the water to heat up and I will wash the clothes now. One year ago, I bought this simple washing machine. It doesn't rinse the soap or spin dry, but thanks to God that I have it. It cost us 100 manat, but it was worth it. Now I can economize my time. Most people in the village don't have one of these. My neighbors does all of hers by hand. Before, I would have to take the washing to the artisan well down the road. It would take at least two hours and I would do it three times a week. The women from our organization decided to do something though. Together we went to the municipality and asked them if we could install piping from the well to our homes. We were so pleased they gave us permission and it has made a big difference to our lives. Previously I could not go to the field to weed on days that I had to wash. The weeds would get bad. Now I have more time I can spend at the nursery. At about 6 o'clock I walk back to the strawberry field. Today we are doing more weeding and also some harvesting. A neighbor in the village wanted 5 kilograms. As she is our neighbor, we will only charge her 2 manat. Usually we sell at the market in Barda or at the farm gate. There we can sell for about 3 manat per kilo, but the traders will sell for 5 manat. If there is a whole group working in the field, we can harvest in one or two hours. But today there are only two of us, so it could take three or four hours. This is a nursery, so we will sell the seedlings two later in the year. We will use the seedling to expand our field and then sell the rest. After two or three hours in the field, I go back home. My husband has just arrived at the field to take me home in the car. None of the women in our producer organization have a car, and the women don't drive here. It is not our culture. Also, I know how to drive. He takes our harvest to the market for us because he has a vehicle. Back at the house, I spend some time cleaning before I prepare dinner. Thanks to God, I have a daughter. She will help me work more as she gets older. Sometime I might invite a very poor woman to the house to help washing wool and making blankets. We don't have cash, but we can give her clothes or other presents in exchange. If the municipality paves the road or I could afford to improve the yard, it wouldn't get so dirty and dusty. I spend about an hour cleaning each day, but that is nothing. It is quick compared to the real work I do outside. My husband is resting while I prepare dinner. He usually has a couple of hours sleep in the afternoon, but today he is tired because he woke early to drive the tractor for another farmer to make us some additional money. Usually he would wake up an hour or two later than me around nine. These are one of the very few times we all sit down together as a family. At this time I often make cheese or yogurt from the milk I collect in the morning. After dinner I do the ironing. 
I know that in big cities there are lots of women who clean big rich houses for money. No one does that here. I only have a small house. So I want to do it myself. Usually this is my last job of the day. When I finish for the day at about 11 p.m., I like to sit and watch TV. I love all the movies and the serials. I watch TV till about midnight, sometime 1 a.m. if it is a good feeling. I love it when there is a wedding because I can go dancing and forget about my worries. At the end of the day, I'm very tired, but I am used to it.